I use quantum simulations to mimic processes that occur around black holes or in the early universe. We have a quantum system where the quantum properties are provided by the quantum fluid and we generate this effective gravitational field through a fluid flow. We look at these interface waves that you experience in the bathtub or uh, in the kitchen sink, looking at the ripples on this quantum liquid. And we are setting up vortex flows and the waves interact with this vortex. And for the waves, it looks like this vortex um, manifests itself in the with the same behavior as light experiences around black holes. We can recreate super radiance. Super radiance is just an effect where if you pass a wave and it interacts with a black hole that's rotating, it can steal some of that uh, rotational energy, that angular momentum. And in fact, it can cause the black hole to slow down a bit. By working with physical systems, often then you discover new facets or aspects of it that go back and drive theoretical research. So it's sort of a virtuous cycle between theory and experiment, and in tandem you drive the research and the understanding forward.